hey guys welcome back again to another sit down with me video today's video i'm going to tell you the things you need to know to apply for resident permit here in sweden the new law that emerged november 1st 2023 i've gotten quite a lot of comments saying that oh please can you make a video for us how to apply for resident permit for the new law uh, that i just emerged in 2023 so yeah you have it okay so the first thing you need to know is that to apply for a work resident permit here in sweden you need to get a job you need to get something doing okay make sure you have a job that have the contract of one year not less one year more than one year two years three years or permanent contract is allowed which is called fast contract please ignore the noise in the background okay it is winter period and they are packing things outside the snow outside when you have your contract what do you need to do what is that thing you need to do you don't have a resident permit yet but you have a job and a contract then you go to the scatterbaker there is something called temporary personal number people like us who have resident permits we have um, personal number but for people that don't have resident permits that is trying to get their resident permit there is something called temporary personal number it is more than i think uh, more than four digits number or not up to four digits number i don't know but it is called temporary personal number submit your work contract your country passport to the certificate and in less than let me just say a month sometimes two weeks three weeks it depends let me just say a month you will get a reply from them and you have your temporary personal number don't rush calm down okay then the next thing you need to do is to go open a bank account you need a bank account here in sweden because you are working and to get your salary to receive your salary into your bank account because you will need it okay to apply for your work resident permit. So once you submit it to, um, you submit all your details to the bank and your temporary personal number, you give it to them, they will process it and you open a bank account. Congratulations on that because you are two steps or some steps ahead away to get your work resident permit. Then the next thing you need to do is to submit your contract to the immigration your country passport to the immigration and if they need any other information they would let you know and reach out to you like your salary history your salary base like how much specifically you receive in a month submit it to them and if you have worked for a while you can go to your bank account like you can go to your bank that is why i said you need a bank account and print out your bank statement your salary maybe six months three months it depends but immigration usually requests for six months when you submit it to them even if you don't have your bank statement yet they will tell you that okay from now henceforth you have to always come to submit your bank statement then every month when you receive your salary always print it out and post it to the immigration and let them know this is this month's um, bank statement you know then when you submit it to them just sit down relax keep on doing your thing work and all of that stuff if it's possible you have a good relationship with your boss at work talk to him or her to write a statement about your performance at work what you do and how you behave you know it's gonna help a little bit then you can submit it to the immigration normally it is six months after six months you get a reply but i think it's now one year it depends on your case okay one year later you get a reply if they accept you or not but you need to know that the law has changed okay the new salary base for work resident permits now in sweden it is twenty seven thousand three hundred and sixty krona if i'm right so it has changed it is 80 percent now no longer um i think 40 percent or 60 percent it has moved to 80 percent so you have to make sure that your salary base it is up to twenty seven thousand three hundred and sixty krona before tax okay not after tax if before tax when you receive your salary you go through your history and everything before your tax before you pay tax and it's up to that ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> 
Congratulations to you because your resident permit is staring at you. Your work resident permit is looking at you like this. Come on, pick me, baby. Pick me, baby. Pick me, baby. So it is not uh, a do or die affair. It is nothing too much, okay? It is just little, little things. Go to the start vacate, apply for your temporary personal number, go open a bank account. Go to the immigration, submit all your details, your work contract, even if it's one year, I think it's from one year, one year, two years and above, submit it to them, your country passport, submit it to them, and what else again, your temporary personal number, just give it to them, your salary pay slip, if you don't have the full six months, every month when you receive a salary pay slip, post it to the immigration and send them your salary um, history like how much you receive in a month before tax let them know send it to them i think it will be in your contract too let them know send it to them and talk to your boss to write just a short note for you and had it to eat it will help you i hope you understand everything i've said in this video for more information go to the swedish immigration website it will be here and you know read about it read about the new uh, work resident permit november 1st because it was placed the new law was placed november november 1st i mean go through it and you would know how to go about it okay the step by step because i'm not an immigration officer and i might not get everything correctly and if you enjoy watching this video thank you so much for clicking hope to see you guys in another video and yeah Bye-bye. <laughs>